from Latin America through Africa to Oceania, France is militarily engaged across the globe. Paris has always viewed itself as a great power, and thus claims a place at the table among the other great powers. In support of this ambition, the French maintain permanent military forces in many corners of the globe. Today, we will look at the global presence of France. Welcome to the 20s Report. The Fifth Republic maintains troops in subordinate overseas departments, on the territory of foreign states under bilateral agreements, and using international military missions under alliances with the European Union and NATO. This enables the French Republic not only to implement its national security strategy, but also to influence the security situation of other entities, thus significantly influencing the US, Russia, and China as well as subordinating weaker states to itself. This is tantamount to pursuing its objectives through deterrence, counter-threats, and power projection. International engagement is regularly used by Paris to remind itself of its continuing presence among the most influential world powers. This manifests itself as l'art de la diplomatie, where anyone can become a partner as long as such cooperation serves France's current or prospective interests. Conducting a multi-vector foreign policy does not negate maintaining good relations and profiting from simultaneous contacts with the US, Russia, or China. Meanwhile, France in the regions of its presence tries to have a real influence on the occurring economic, political, or military changes. So where specifically are the French present? In the Western Hemisphere, French troops are stationed primarily in two locations. First, in the Antilles, an archipelago located in the Caribbean region. The French armed forces in the archipelago number about a thousand soldiers, and comprise a marine regiment, a naval base, and an air force base. The two French forts, Desai and Saint-Louis on Martinique, were constructed during the colonial era between the 17th and 18th centuries to allow for an immediate response in case of an attack by enemy troops or local pirates. It was thanks to these units that the French government maintained possession of the islands for many centuries. And centuries later, the tasks performed by French forces remain very similar, including maintaining regional security and combating drug and arms trafficking. In case of crisis, the French are also responsible for rescue operations, such as after the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, when the French launched Operation Seisme Haiti 2010 to help the affected population. To the south of Martinique is another overseas department of France, namely French Guiana. The armed forces stationed there account for more than 2,100 soldiers as part of a naval infantry regiment in the towns of Saint-Jean and Maripasula. A naval base is located in French Guiana's main port, the Degard de Caen, while an air force base is located at Caillon Rochambeau Airport. There are currently three operations being carried out by the French military in Guiana. Operation Harpy aims to eradicate illegal gold mining sites. Operation Polpesh is where the French control the sea lanes, fighting piracy and illegal fishing. And also Operation Titan, which involves protecting one of the most important centers of the French Republic outside of its home territory, namely the French Guiana Space Center. Interestingly, the people of French Guiana recently had the opportunity to gain greater autonomy. However, in a referendum held in 2010, 70% of voters voted against greater autonomy from France. A change in the department's status would lead to less financial and security support from Paris. But the status quo should not be taken for granted. French Guiana and the French overseas departments located in the Caribbean region remain a space of rivalry between the superpowers, and one of the challenges now is the foreign policy of the People's Republic of China, which aims to deepen relations with Latin American countries. 
Paris could not afford investments equal to those made by Beijing. So the pressure on French influence in the region continues to grow. It is no surprise that the largest French military presence is in Africa, the result of years of maintaining colonies and now of the fight against terrorism, although not exclusively so. Africa is the main theater of operations carried out by the French Republic. It is where its interests meet, not only military ones, but also economic and political ones. Soldiers of the Republic are present in a whole range of African countries. Gabon, Mali, Senegal, Niger, the Ivory Coast, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Libya being among them. Let's take a closer look at a few of these. From Africa's westernmost point of Senegal, Paris has a convenient logistical position to control the continent's entire west coast, including numerous trade and tourist routes that run nearby. 350 French soldiers are stationed in Senegal, which is sometimes called the Gate of Africa. Many of these are in the country's capital of Dakar. The Air Force is located on the site of the former 160th Dakar Okoyam Air Base, while the naval base is located in the Contra Amiral Prote district, i.e. the former military port. Senegal is the main counter-terrorist checkpoint on the continent. Moving further south, we find another important bridgehead of the French forces in Africa, the Ivory Coast, located on the Gulf of Guinea. Despite gaining independence in 1960, the coast still remains closely linked with France, especially on economic issues. It is France's third largest trading partner in Sub-Saharan Africa, after South Africa and Nigeria. There are almost 700 French companies in the state, including about 200 subsidiaries. The total revenue generated by these companies accounts for about 30% of the Ivory Coast's GDP. Paris identifies the coast as one of the priority locations in Africa, and that's why 950 French soldiers are permanently stationed there. The 43rd Marine Battalion is stationed at the Port Bouet camp in Abidjan. The Air Force, in turn, is based at Le Bougerie Air Base, the standard responsibilities of the French forces include the protection of the Ivory Coast territory, its territorial waters, and its airspace. In addition, it is a logistic focal point for the support of the G5 Sahel mission. To the east of the Ivory Coast is Gabon. The French have had an intermittent presence there since 1960, the end of the colonial era marked by Gabon's independence. Paris was firmly determined to maintain its influence in Libreville, and this was because of the deposits of these lands, specifically uranium. As the nuclear age began in 1942 and nuclear research intensified, the demand for uranium increased. Now for France, its African colonies, primarily Niger and Gabon with their rich deposits, became the solution. France exploited Gabon's uranium deposits from 1957 to 1999, i.e. until the price of raw material fell on the market. In a report published in 2009, the French Independent Commission for Research and Information on Radioactivity estimated that as a result of many years of uranium mining, the Gabonese territory, particularly the soils and groundwater, as well as buildings and forests, are all contaminated with radioactivity. This is the result of direct dumping of mine waste into the Nagama Bungu River during the period of mining operations. It is estimated that of the 7.5 million tons of radioactive waste produced during this time, 2 million tons were dumped into this aforementioned river. 350 Marines and Airmen are stationed at the Charles de Gaulle base and the Guy Pidou Air Base in Libreville. Paris is also present on the other side of the African continent, specifically in Djibouti. This small East African country has an excellent strategic position. It is located on the Bab el Mandab Strait, which connects the Indian Ocean with the Red Sea, and thus connects Europe with Asia through the Suez Canal. This is the most important sea trade route in the entire world. 
and this location makes the land of Djibouti an object of desire for many important players. Therefore, this small state is the world leader in terms of the number of foreign military bases on its soil. These include troops of China, the United States, Italy, and Japan, but also France. Paris has the advantage over the rest as Djibouti is one of the many former French colonies, and French is one of the two official languages of this country. The French currently maintain an army of 1,450 troops in Djibouti. Before the opening of the Suez Canal, the sea trade route between Asia and Europe ran around Africa. Therefore, the major colonial powers had to have safe harbors in the southern part of the Indian Ocean. For France, this function was fulfilled by the volcanic island of Réunion, located to the east of Madagascar. Until 1869, when the Suez Canal was opened, the island remained a stop on the trade route to the East Indies, but after the opening of the canal, the commercial importance of the island decreased significantly. Nevertheless, Réunion, along with France's other overseas department in the region, the island of Mayotte, allows the French to control the southern part of the Indian Ocean. The main location is the Réunion Naval Base, which is based in the town of Port de Galais. On the other hand, in the northern Indian Ocean, the French can respond from the Abu Dhabi Naval Base in the United Arab Emirates. Under a 2008 agreement, the French maintain a permanent military presence in the UAE of about 650 troops. The United Arab Emirates covers the maintenance costs, and in return, if the UAE is ever attacked, France is committed to maximum military engagement. Now, Paris is involved in the Middle East generally. In addition to the UAE, it is also present in Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq, and Kuwait. Maintaining a presence at strategic points in the Indo-Pacific should therefore come as no surprise. Today, this is the region of greatest interest to the superpowers, mainly due to the Sino-American rivalry. France is cooperating with the Quad Group, which includes Australia, India, Japan, and the US, and its main goal is to limit Chinese influence. Paris recognizes the risks resulting from China's rising power, as evidenced by the symbolic missions in the South China Sea or the Taiwan Strait, as well as the joint exercises with the navies of the Quad States. Therefore, perhaps France's most important strategic position in this vast area is the island complex of New Caledonia and French Polynesia, which is to the east of Australia. 1,500 French soldiers are stationed there, comprising a Marine Infantry Regiment, a Navy base, and an Air Force base. Together with the French Armed Forces in French Polynesia, the Armed Forces in New Caledonia form the main point of support for the Asia-Pacific area. A presence in such a remote corner of the globe presents a major logistical challenge, and to visualize the distance we're talking about, Papaete, the capital of French Polynesia, is nearly 16,000 kilometers from Paris. The islands are an object of interest for China. Beijing is constantly expanding its influence, which could eventually make these small economies quite dependent on itself. For the moment, Paris provides the islands with economic and security support. Dependence on France is, for the time being, a protective umbrella. However, it is not certain that this state will be maintained. In 2018 and 2020, New Caledonia held independence referenda, which supporters of unity with France won by a small margin in both cases. In contrast, the mood of the Polynesians towards France deteriorates due to the historical activities of the Republic. In the years 1966 to 1996, France conducted 193 atmospheric and underground atomic tests in French Polynesia. As a result of these atomic tests, soil and rainwater are significantly contaminated and the number of reports of cancer diseases is very high. However, if the French manage to keep these territories inside their sphere of influence, they will constitute a significant resource. 
highly valuable, for example, for the Americans, for whom the forward presence in the Pacific represents a major asset. Looking at the potential of the French Republic on the basis of its military activity allows a broader perception of its current directions of interest, objectives, and potential plans for the development of its foreign policy. Currently, more than 20,000 troops are stationed outside of France as part of one official presence or another. France does not have the capacity to keep up militarily with countries like the US, China, or Russia. However, its foreign military presence shows that despite the huge costs, constant rivalry with terrorist organizations, and its own internal problems such as migration or socio-cultural differences, Paris has ambitions to be a global player, whose opinion must be taken into account by all other players. Undoubtedly, France's colonial legacy is of great value. But without a proper strategy and the designation of large financial resources to maintain their sphere of influence, any vacuum will quickly be filled by Washington, Beijing, Moscow, or Ankara. This was the 20th report. The material was produced in collaboration with the Institute of New Europe. As always, many thanks to the patrons of the channel. Please remember to leave a comment or a thumbs up, which helps in better positioning of our content. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.